everybody just back with another video uh, today just it's just a video of Pierre Polyev essentially just exposing how much of a sellout and how much of a coward Jagmeet Singh is so let's have a look at the video it's really short and then we'll talk about it after uh, Justin Trudeau has done again and again is make promises and then break them and they make a lot of big announcements and then never follow through and Justin Trudeau acts like uh, they can't do anything about it his ministers act like oh we don't know what to do got the full power of the federal government to protect Canadians Mr. Speaker, normally the NDP leader is well worth ignoring, but I just can't help myself. <laughs> he says that the Prime Minister acts like he has no power to stop all of these greedy CEOs from ripping off consumers. Who else has the power? Well, the guy that joined the government. <laughs> He's been in power during the worst food price inflation in over four years decades. Will the Prime Minister agree with me that his carbon tax coalition is nothing more than an anti-competitive price-fixing scheme that is costing Canadians at the grocery store? Yeah, correct, right? I mean, it's it's very uh, obvious to see. Um, Jagmeet Singh, he's, he's all upset, oh, the government has the full power. Well, if they're not doing it, and your message is so strong, Go against the coalition, call an election, and you'll be prime minister, right? But you won't. Not only will you not win, you're going to come in third place somehow. How You're so bad. You're the other liberal party, but you're so bad that the liberal party, their voters are leaving to go to the conservatives. They're leaving the liberals altogether. You'd think that liberals would go over to the NDP. That's what you'd think would happen. I kind of thought that was going to happen myself once Trudeau, you know, applauded a certain um, person, you know, uh, that they brought into Parliament who used to be a Nazi. You'd think that it was like, okay, we can't support this dude. We'll go over to the other liberal who's a lot like Justin Trudeau, but they didn't. They've had enough of the Liberal Party. So you're going to come in third place, and that's why you won't call an election. Well, there's another reason he won't call an election, also because he needs his pension, which he gets in October of 2025, just before the election. And that's why he's selling out Canadians. That's why he won't give us an election. This is not about the greedy CEOs. This is about his greed to try to get his pension, which is worth a couple million dollars. That's what he's in this for, guys. If you see anything else, I mean, please let me know. I mean, how, how are you such a weak leader? You can't take votes from liberals who are losing people by the drones. I mean, they, they've kind of bounced back a tiny bit in the polls recently. They're up back up like 26% where they were at 23%. But again, you know, Jagmeet Singh, he can't even hit 20%. So he knows he's going to lose. And he knows that if he loses and comes in third place again, uh, he's not going to, he might not even have his position anymore. And you have to stay at the head of, you have to be uh, in that position for six years to qualify for your pension. So he's not going to risk having an election now, losing, being thrown out by his party and then losing his pension. Why would he? Now, if he was really for Canadians and, really actually felt that, you know, Canadians deserve an election, he would call one, or at least have a vote of non-confidence with the Conservatives and they'd call one. But they're not. Why? Because he's a sellout for himself, for his pension, and that's it. So, I mean, I don't know. It's it's really funny to see what the, the history, or the not the history, but the future of the NDP party holds, because I think they're going to kick him out and who are they going to get to replace him? Someone just like him? Someone who wants to tax people who make $400,000 a year or more, 80%? He's on video saying it. I mean, the NDP, I mean, they're, they're, they're mayor of two major cities in Canada. Have they even made any progress? I know it takes time to change things. Have they even made progress? No. Are things getting worse with, like, food prices and starvation and poverty and homelessness? Yep. What's going on? How come you guys have been saying you're so great for all these years, but you don't do anything great? Every time you get a chance. Look what they did in BC. 
The Safe Supply Act. Yeah, yeah. Get this, guys. They're going to give you safe fentanyl. Think about that for a second. Safe poison is what they're going to give you. How fucking stupid do you have to be? I'm, I'm surprised they even have 16%. Now, again, I also do think that Pierre Polyev is going to uh, overperform in the polls, right? Polls are generally pretty small. It's like a few thousand people, if that. Uh, I think that there's a lot of people like me who are not conservative, more independent or libertarian, however you want to categorize me. Um, we're all going to vote for conservatives. Or most of us will. There, there's, there's very, very few people that are being turned on by the liberal parties. And as I've mentioned before, liberals usually, there's a like a 3 to 5% margin of error because generally speaking, more people who take uh, polls are a little bit more liberal than they are conservative by about a 3 to 5 point margin. Now that being said, we've seen politicians overperform in polls before. There was a guy who just got convicted down the States. He's outperformed polls pretty, uh, pretty well, actually, before. I think Pierre Polyev is going to do that. So if you want to compare him to Trump, there's one way you could compare him to Trump. He's probably going to outperform the polls. That 41% you're seeing right now probably goes closer to 45, maybe even a bit higher, which would you know be a landslide majority election. So that would be great news. But as for the NDP, I mean, they're just embarrassing themselves. They're selling out. I mean, they're, they're, they've shown it. They're sellouts. You formed a coalition with a government that's destroying the country. So congratulations, Jagme. That's your reputation. And that's why you're not going to be in office very, very much longer. The NDP party will likely kick you out when you lose. Not just lose, but come in third place again. So that's going to be it for this uh, video, guys. Please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. It really, really helps grow this channel. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.